Kannapolis is not exactly on the way to Daytona, at least not for this family. Here's our littlest Earnhardt fan. Brian Fair, his wife, and their seven kids are from Marion, Indiana. They're heading to the Daytona 500 this weekend. But first, they drove seven hours out of the way. There was someone they had to see. Let's go look at Dale. Standing in the Dale Earnhardt Tribute Plaza with his crew by his side, Brian was once again face to face with his hero. The memories, Dale's facial expressions, it all came flooding back into his mind. Crow's feet. <laughs> That's how people knew he was serious when he, when he made them crow's feet. <laughs> you know, you knew he meant business. Simply put, Brian says he's always been a Dale guy. He liked him because he was a worker's driver. He felt like Dale connected to the working class. Big trouble. And sadly, like most Earnhardt fans, Brian remembers the heartache he felt 15 years ago today. I was devastated like everybody else. And um, it was just something that you never expected to happen because he had been in what looked far, far worse wrecks. NASCAR has lost its greatest driver ever. I was just devastated and it took me a long time to get over it and I'll, I'll probably never, never get over it. A decade and a half later, the wounds are still healing. But with this chance to say goodbye. Wish you were still here. Wish you were still here. Brian says he has a sense of peace, continuing his journey south to the Daytona 500, the very race that took his hero's life.